We've spent most of our time in the WebHMI customizing the diagrams. However, there are some options that can be modified in the WebHMI directly. These are found under the Settings tab. We'll come back to specific sections here in later videos, so for now I'd like to focus on personalization. These are options that affect the appearance of the WebHMI. Under Personalization, I have Personal Preferences, System Language, and System Theme. My user login needs a privilege level of 7 or 8 to configure the system options. Otherwise, I can only change the Personal Preferences. The first options that I can change here are the Language and Region, which affects the date, time, and number format. The only alternate language for now is French, but more are coming. If I make a change, I'll get a warning that the application must be reloaded, which just means refreshing the page. Note that changes here are not universal. Diagram localization must be performed in Graphics Editor and cannot be changed on a per-user basis. Similarly, while the alarm and trend interfaces are changed, the point names are not and should be configured in Studio or Profile Editor. Basic reports and live data are completely unaffected. I can also change my theme color, which is really just the top bar and border color. There is also an option for high contrast mode, but this comes with a warning that only alarms and trends have this functionality built in, and only on certain web browser versions. It would also be hypothetically possible to build your diagrams around high contrast mode, but there's no way at this time to switch back and forth. We have similar localization options here in the system language section. The difference is that the options I set here become the defaults of the system. If I make a change here, these settings will be applied to all users of the system until they manually change them in Personal Preferences. That is, I've already set the preferences for the demo user, but if I log in with another user, the language is changed until I save new preferences. Moving on to System Theme, I can control the default theme color and high contrast mode, but there are a number of other options. At the top, I can disable the user defined theme, which will force all users to view the system theme. The Show Vendor Logo option hides the Schneider Electric logo at the top right while the image selector allows me to upload an image to display in the top left. Finally, I can enter text to display at the top center of the page. Below the theme settings, I can change the navigation pane from the left to the right. I can also force compact mode. If you haven't seen this before, when the window is vertically small, the navigation bar collapses to a menu in the top right. This option forces this to be always displayed. Finally, I can change the channel colors for waveforms and burst data displays. This could be useful if you want to match these tools with another software package. These are all the personalization options available at this time. Again, we'll return to the other sections of the settings library as needed, and there are a couple of more advanced customizations we can make to the WebHMI. Until then, thank you.